What's up? My name is Mags and this is Bus Invaders. Uh, we're out here, uh, first show of the headliner tour for Destroyer, my new album that is out right now. Let's hop in. I actually do most of the driving myself. Um, not from a lack of trust per se, but I just, I like to, you know, keep the, the vibe correct, you know, in the van. And um, I try to, you know, play music everybody likes and stuff like that. Yeah, I also if you're up front, you have to stay awake. That's, those are kind of the only rules. If you're, if you're gonna be up front, you gotta keep me awake. <laughs> uh, luckily, this tour, uh, the drives are pretty short, so there's not too much, like, of a burden on, on, you know, having to take shifts or whatever, but in the longer drives, usually it, it, it'll rotate, you know, anywhere from three to five hours of driving, and then we switch out. There are a couple tours that started on the west, on the east coast, and we come from the west coast, and you know, so the, the the whole first drive is across the country, you know, and those ones get pretty gnarly. We have people, we usually drive straight through, we have people sleeping in the back. So right now, I'm listening to a lot of like instrumental stuff. Uh, I really like all of like Sam Wilkes stuff. He does like experimental jazz fusion. Um, a lot of us are, are really into jazz. Um, a lot of us have, you know, either backgrounds in jazz or uh, it's just generally something we're, we're invested in. So. Uh, you usually don't hear too many complaints when I'm, I'm playing jazz. I play a lot of like lo-fi hip-hop um, or you know atmospheric like instrumental stuff. It's just it's like stuff that's very like non-invasive and you know sometimes people have their headphones in and listen to their own stuff so I just I just play some kind of like you know just some soft stuff that we can kind of vibe to. The other guys will play like like hardcore music or uh, my, my buddy Chris, who plays bass in the band, he'll play System of a Down when he starts getting sleepy. So it'll be, you know, we'll be in the middle of like a drive overnight or like, you know, super, super late after a show and it'll just be like chop suey as loud as humanly possible. It depends on the drive. Sometimes it's during the day and we want more energy. So we'll play like, you know, stuff from uh, the, the early 2000s. A lot of us are, you know, from that era. So. Uh, me and Ryan were playing uh, some Taking Back Sunday the other day, just kind of reminiscing, and uh, I'm, I'm a big fan of Coheed and Cambria as well, so I've been kind of listening to their early albums a lot uh, on this run, you know, on the way up here and stuff, and uh, uh, Circus Survive is another one of my favorites. Uh, all right, so you've seen the front, let's go to the back. So, as you can see, this van is very clean. Uh, this is a rental, but that wasn't obvious. Um, we usually rent a van like this. Uh, it just accommodates the amount of gear that we bring and the amount of people that are in the in the in the party. So, um, yeah, something like this usually works, like a like a medium roof, and um, you know the back the, the the whole back is is pretty much you know allotted for our gear and our luggage and merch and everything. And try not to use a, a trailer if we don't have to, just for safety reasons, you know, and. Um, you know, these, these, these seats get pretty comfortable, you know? Like, sometimes we have like the, we'll do like a Sprinter, and they got the leather seats, and the Sprinters are nice, but the seats are pretty uncomfortable, you know? So, I, ironically enough, like, I kind of prefer the, the, the Transits, because they, uh, they got the cloth seats, so you can, you can lay across it. And, and if you have like a, a, a trick we usually do is like, we bring a, a yoga mat, and we'll lay the yoga mat across the seats so you don't get these, these belt buckles going up your ass or anything. But generally, um, you don't have to sleep in the van too, too much. Uh, but if you know, it's a long drive and you want to lay down, you can. So I'm usually sitting right here in the, in the driver's seat or in the passenger seat, depending on who else is driving. Um, Chris is my bassist. Uh, he likes to drive, especially in the mornings. So we we'll usually take first shift in the front seats. Um, if he's not driving, he's usually sitting right back here um, playing his Switch or watching uh, YouTube videos or whatever. Um, this seat is usually where Ahmed sits. Uh, Ahmed is the guitarist. Um, I don't know why he likes this seat, but he tends to gravitate towards this one. Um, and then Andy is the other guitarist. Uh, he usually sits here. Um, I think because he's pretty tall, he's like 6'2", 6'3". And he likes to um, he likes to stretch his legs out like so. Funny enough, this is what we usually refer to as the death seat um, because of the gap between the seat and where the door would close. If you're sitting in this seat, you can't lean this way, and there's nothing to lean on on this side, so you're kind of just upright like this. 
for anywhere from you know three to twelve hours, depending. So we we tend to we tend to refer to this as a death seat, and we definitely take turns in this seat because it can get it can get pretty exhausting just sitting here. I think Ryan also Ryan's the drummer. He likes to sit up front as well. Um, we usually just sit up here and talk about, talk about drums. You know, I'm a, I'm a drummer first, so I usually talk about we usually have this lot of lot of like dialogue about drums and and uh, you know music and, and stuff like that. Uh, one of the benefits of renting and especially these newer vehicles is that there's usually ports to charge your phone. Um, USB ports here and, and here and you know so this you know we've had a couple tours where we've brought those like loud adapters and you plug them into the into the lighter uh, power thing. I'm not sure what those are called, but uh, we usually plug into that and then it just makes a lot of noise. So luckily, a lot of these, these vehicles have USB ports already built into them. But uh, let's check out the back. So the first thing I want to say about renting is that these seats do not come out. Um, I've had one instance where there was, a, there was someone who was working at the rental place and he was uh, very accommodating and I asked him, would you mind? And he was like, you know what, I don't care. I'll take them out for you. Uh, but in most cases, they do not take these seats out. It makes things a lot more difficult, you know, when you have a full drum kit, amps, merch, luggage, uh, guitars, basses, like all the all the stuff you need to, to tour. It's like these seats usually just take up very valuable real estate back here. You know, usually it'll be like big big cases in the back. We'll we'll flip them 90 degrees, try to get the drums and everything that's fragile like pretty level to the to the ground, and then just stack the merch and all the luggage on top. Like this is a pretty short tour so we didn't uh, need to bring as much merch but there will be times when you know we have 10 to 12 to 15 boxes of merch and you know we're stacked all the way up to the ceiling so that could be a little tricky. So my record Destroyer just came out uh, this past week and uh, you can stream it on all platforms. You can follow me at, it's Elliot underscore Mags uh, on all platforms as well, Twitter, Instagram, Spotify. You can find all my future tour dates on all of my social media. You can find it on Bandentown, you can find it on Spotify. Um, it's all updated constantly and um, yeah. So thank you again, uh, Bus Invaders, for, uh, for coming out and, and, and doing this with me. And uh, we'll see you next time.